Hi, I'm Sean McGivern with Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Uh, today we're going to talk about a couple different water supply systems. And the first one we're going to talk about is copper. And what I've got here is everything you need to put to or to assemble copper water lines. Uh, just a sample, we've got a half inch uh, copper water or supply line right here. Just a small sample of the copper water line. And we've got a couple fittings here too. We've got the 90 degree elbow, both of them are 90 degree elbows for turning corners. We've got a couple couplers. And the things you need to solder is you need a strip of emery cloth so you can clean the copper before you solder. You have to clean the pipe really well before you solder. Uh, a torch, auto torch with map gas. Map gas burns hotter than propane so it'll heat up the pipe a little bit faster so you can complete your project a little bit faster. You also need flux and the flux brush this is going to go onto the pipe when you uh, start to solder, and the flux is a cleaner. It helps clean the pipe as you solder and heat up. Then also we have our, uh, so or we have our uh, solder right here. It's lead-free solder, and we will use this to actually assemble and put the copper lines together. Okay, now we're going to cut the copper line. So what I need to do is I need to set this piece of half-inch copper in between these two wheels here. Okay, so I'm going to rest it right in between those two wheels. And then I'm going to slowly tighten the cutting wheel to the piece of pipe. And I'm going to get it firm, kind of firm. Then I'm going to start to circle it around the pipe and score it each time. And what I'm doing is I'm slowly cutting the copper little by little. I'm going to do a little turn, cut, turn, cut, turning. And I'm going to keep doing this until the pipe is completely cut. And right here it is. And we want to make sure when we're done that we check our pipe and make sure it is in a perfect circle with no dents. Okay, we just cut the pipe, so now we're ready to solder. What we have to do first is we have to clean the copper pipe with the emery cloth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work around the pipe, and I'm going to clean it with this emery cloth, and I'm going to get off all the dirt and filth on this pipe so that when I solder, I don't have soot moving into my joint, okay? Because if I have too much soot, it's not going to allow the solder to stick. So now that this is clean, I'm going to take my flux and I'm going to put it around the pipe where the fitting is going to go. All the way around the pipe because this is actually what keeps this pipe clean as I'm going to solder. So now I'm going to put my fitting on, and this is a brass fitting that transitions from copper to PEX. So I'm going to push that fitting on and make sure it's all the way embedded onto the pipe. Then I'm going to grab my solder, and I'm going to start to heat this pipe with the map gas. And I'm going to heat it gently and then start to apply my solder. And I'm moving up and down the pipe here a little bit. So I don't burn the certain spot where I need to apply my solder. I don't want that spot burned because if I do, the solder is not going to stick. And you can see the pipe starting to heat up here. And what you do is just kind of tap it there to make sure that it's hot enough. Then you can turn your flame off and work your solder around your joint. Knock your drips off. And it's a very good thing when you're done here, before you get too far, to cool the pipe off. Because what it takes is it takes about 800 degrees Fahrenheit for this solder to melt around that fitting. So make sure you cool this joint off before you get too far. Okay, now we're going to talk about PEX. We just got done with copper and now we're talking about PEX. Copper is very rigid, has no flex to it. PEX does. So that's the beauty of it. And you can actually have soft bends in your water lines when you're running them or uh, supplying water to a certain area. So we have a sample of PEX here, which is a plastic water line, which comes in white, red, and blue. So blue for cold, red for hot, white for neutral, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, there's a couple different fittings here that we've got. We've got the uh, female adapter. We've got the male adapter. We, and I, I'm going to show you these two because this is a brass PEX fitting for half inch and this is a copper 
pecs fitting for half inch. They do the same thing. They're both elbows, just one's brass, one's copper. Uh, my preference is brass, okay? And we also need the rings. These are the uh, pinch rings that will actually connect the pipe to the fitting. So what I'm going to do here is cut a piece of the pipe for you. And these are, are cutters. They just cut right through the plastic pipe. You saw how I had to cut the copper. Now I'm going to show you how you have to cut the pecs. It's much easier. I just take a bite and I cut the pipe off and it's that easy. And I can make my cuts. So now what I'm going to do is show you when we fasten this, I'm going to do a transition and show you how to assemble the uh, pecs, but also how to transition from copper to pecs. So we have copper here, which we just soldered this uh, adapter on to go from copper to pecs. And what I'm going to do is I have to put my ring on my pipe first, slide the pipe all the way into the fitting, okay, all the way up again. It's not, not off of the fitting, but all the way on. And then I want my ring, when it's pinched, about an eighth of an inch away from the end of the pipe. About one, inch of, or one eighth of an inch away from that. And that, what that's going to do is allow the ring, when it's all said and done, the ring is going to go over the two ridges right there on the fitting and seal that pipe up. So we have the ratchet tool or the uh, pinch tool, which is a ratcheting tool for uh, putting the ring on. So I have to have my jaws all the way open, okay? I'm going to go bite the fitting. And there's a small mouth to go bite right here. There's a small mouth you have to go bite with the uh, tool. Make a good connection. I got to maintain my eighth of an inch. And then I start to squeeze my uh, ring onto my pipe. And once I get it to a certain point, I got to get a lot of torque behind it and pinch that ring around the pipe completely. With the good point, I release. And what I've done is I've converted from copper to PEX. And now this uh, fitting right here is liquid tight. So I shouldn't have any leaks on it. OK, now what we have here is the old form of water line, which is galvanized pipe. You won't see that too much uh, being installed anymore, but you may run into it in an older home. Uh, so what we're going to do is just kind of briefly go over how fittings are installed in galvanized pipe. And the only way you can install a fitting on galvanized pipe is by threads. So first things first, before we thread any fittings on, we have to put on Teflon tape. Or we can use a, uh, a, like a toothpaste type joint compound is what it's called, or, or pipe dope is the trade name. So what we need to do is take our Teflon tape and wrap it completely around all of our threads before we thread our fitting on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap in the direction of the way the fitting is going to be threaded. So in this case, when I put this fitting on, I'm going to have to turn to my right to get this fitting on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Teflon and I'm going to wrap it in the direction I'm going to turn. So I'll put a strip on here. And then I'm going to wrap all the way around and I'm going to capture every thread on this piece of pipe so that I know when I put my fitting on, it'll be sealed up. So I'll wrap once around it. And then I'll take my fitting and start to thread this on. And I'm going to get to hand tight. And then I'm going to have to take a crescent wrench and finish the job. And since I'm in this vise here, I don't have to use a pipe wrench because if I wasn't, I'd have to take my pipe wrench and put it around the pipe and clasp it in tightly and then start to turn my fitting on. So just in case if my pipe started to spin, the pipe wrench would stop this from spinning so I can fully thread my fitting on. And I need to thread this pretty tight. I can't just go to hand tight and maybe quarter turn. I need to probably get this thing on here maybe one or two full turns before it's going to completely seal up.